our faith in God is everything. It is the reason that we have salvation. Salvation is not something that we earn by any good deed. It is a gift that was given to us through Jesus Christ. And it's a gift that we should receive and treasure and understand that our belief in Jesus is what connects us to the Father and his righteousness. And that is just a beautiful way for us to live our lives through the faith Our faith is the foundation of our salvation. We can't do a good deed. There's nothing that we can do to earn salvation. Salvation is the gift of God to us because Jesus chose to chose Faith is the key to our salvation. There's no such thing as doing anything to earn salvation. The wages of sin, which we're all guilty of, is death. But Jesus paid that price for us so that all we have to do is have faith in him and accept salvation. That's just such a beautiful thing that Jesus has done. And that's something for us to always remember as we live and walk in this gift of salvation and to be forever grateful to Jesus and have faith in him. As always, it's such a pleasure to be here for the Sanctuary Sunday School. I really missed being here last week. Uh, we just reopened the sanctuary. And as you know, my dad is a pastor. He's 84 years old. And so a lot of that responsibility fell on me. So I did not get to the lesson last week, but I am here now and I'm so excited about being here. Also, I have posted the first animated video for the uh, Sanctuary Kids. So you got to subscribe. Those of you who have sent donations, thank you so much because you are making this possible. We do still need more donations. You can donate through Cash App at uh, the Sanctuary Academy or uh, the website, the Sanctuary.academy, all of the links are in the description or also you can click through the links to donate if you'd like to do so. And again, thank you so much because I do truly love those little babies, the children. So our subject today is about faith and righteousness. And you can't have one without the other. And we're here in the book of Romans. This is Paul teaching and about, and it's, it says, it starts right out. He says that, the righteousness of God without the law is manifested. And what that is telling us is that righteousness comes from God, is manifested through Jesus, not through you keeping the law, right? And it says that it's being witnessed by the law and the prophets. And so the law is merely a list of rules and regulations, without the power to follow them. And according to the law, under the law, everybody is guilty. And the law could not be reversed because it says that the wages of sin was death. So what happened was Jesus took that death sentence for us. So now we can be saved by faith in Jesus. And then it talks about it, the, the righteousness and that there is no difference. And so what it says here is that, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, I do want to make sure that I bring this verse out right. Because a lot of times we like to use this verse as all have sinned. So, it's okay for me to keep sinning because everybody has sinned. That is not the connotation of this verse. This verse is that all have sinned and everybody had to get saved. All have sinned. It does not mean that have is the past tense, right? Sinned is the past tense. This is not um, um, a freedom for you to keep sinning. This is saying everybody is the same. Everybody has sinned. Everybody needed for forgiveness. And so we all have to come through Jesus just the same. And then through the power of Jesus, we can stop sinning. So that's what it means by all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Being justified freely 
by his grace and the redemption. And I love those those two words, justified, three words, justified, grace, and redemption. Because justified, justified makes it right. You know, I, I, I'm a graphic, ex-graphic designer. Well, I'm still a graphic designer. But if you've ever used a word processor and you have the justification button on the right side, when you click that button, it lines everything up down that right side even. God justifies us through our faith in him. And where we're weak, he brings us up and he keeps us up on all sides. As my mom used to say, you got to be up on all sides. Can't be lopsided, saints. That's what mom used to say. So um, being justified through grace, that word grace, Grace indicates that this is not something that we deserve. People are always talking about, I deserve, I deserve. No, we don't deserve nothing but to die. But we did not deserve salvation. But through the grace of God, he saw fit to save us, the grace of God. And then redemption. See, what I love about the word redemption is that it indicates that I belong to God. See, in order to redeem something... It has to be yours. And there's something happened that separated you from your property, right? So you got to do something to go redeem this property. But so redemption means I belong to God. God created me. God controls me. My sin separated me from him. But then he redeemed me through the blood of his son, Jesus. And I still belong to God. I love that so much. And then it says he sent him through a propitiation, through faith in his blood. Jesus came and he paid the price. And now because there was shedding his because of his shedding of blood, there is formation of sin. And then we have that word forbearance. Forbearance means forgiveness. It's gone away and we are no longer held accountable for it. And we can be called just. Then verse 27 talks about that boasting. So where is, where then is boasting? And then it says boasting is excluded because you didn't do anything to deserve this. This is by the what grace of God that his son came. And so he talked about the law. He said, well, again, the law is not condemned, but the law is fulfilled. But you, everybody is not Jewish. And salvation is not only to the Jews, but to everybody. So everybody is not under the guide of the Mosaic law. So this thing is expanded to the whole world. And see, it had to be expanded to the whole world. I couldn't be saved because I'm not Jewish. And so that's what Paul is telling them. He's not the God of the Jews only. He's the God of everybody. And everybody can be saved through faith, right? And so then it says, see, it's one God. And we're justified by the circumcision by faith and the uncircumcision through faith. Faith is the key. What they say, prayer is the key, but faith unlock the door. And so then, and finally he said, does that mean that the law is null and void? Of course not. God forbid. That's God's law, right? Remember, that law was given by God, directly from God to Moses. So that Mosaic law is not null and void. But Jesus came and he fulfilled the law so that the righteousness of the law could be fulfilled in us, right? So Jesus paid the price so that we could have the access to the righteousness of God through faith and by his grace. And again, all have sinned. We all have sinned. And so it doesn't make one person better than the other person. And, 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 and my sin different from your sin. So I'm better than you. No, no, no. Everybody has sinned. We are all on a level playing field land. Everybody got to repent. Everybody got to have faith in Jesus and everybody has to stop sinning so that we can walk in the righteousness of God.